guys, happy Saturday. Thought I'd jump on and share with you what I got the boys for their birthday, Milo and Miggy. Their birthdays are coming up the beginning of July. And I went out to Meyer today and thought I'd share with you what I got. Now, if you remember in my last video, I was talking about these Ben and Jerry doggy desserts that I'd gotten um, this coupon in the mail from Meyer. Um, I didn't know they carried this, so I was going to go and check it out. Well, I did and looked at the fat content of these little doggy desserts and they were way too high for me <laughs> to purchase them. Um, I think one of them, um, I think the one with the pretzel pieces was like 10% fat and this one, the pumpkin was like, I think it was like, um, 8% for a, for a single serve container. Um, and I just couldn't do it. It was just too much fat for me for the boys. Um, and then I was thinking, well, maybe I could just split it in one container in half. And I was like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, <laughs> I've, I've been trying to be so strict on their diet with the fat cap, fat content. Um, because if, if you're a new subscriber, Mini schnauzers are very prone to pancreatitis, and three of my boys have had it in the past. Even with being strict, just the little, the littlest thing can just throw them into a pancre uh, pancreatitis attack. So I was like, I can't buy it. So I'm not going to be using that coupon. I ended up buying uh, this Purple Cow Vanilla Low Fat Frozen Yogurt. Now sitting right next to it, there was an an ice cream, another vanilla. Um, it said no sugar added, no fat, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, well, let's look at that one. That one says no fat at all. Um, and it wasn't true. <laughs> I looked at the, um, uh, nutrition label and it had six grams of fat. And I'm thinking, how can they advertise that there's no fat? <laughs> I, I don't know. It was weird. So I stuck with the yogurt and this one is 2.5 grams fat, um, for a serving size of two third cups. Now they're not going to get a two third cup um, serving of this, so it's going to be even less fat. Um, they just get a couple spoonfuls. And then I got some blueberries, which are no fat. I'm going to freeze these on a cookie cookie sheet. Um, so when it comes time for to celebrate their birthdays, we'll just mix the frozen. We'll soften this up a bit, and we'll mix some frozen blueberries in there. I got two packages of these. Um, because my boys just love blueberries anyways, um, as a snack. I also bought them some, um, green beans. These aren't frozen. These are just fresh green beans. I bought them some green beans for snacks. And I also bought some watermelon, seedless watermelon to have for snacks. I freeze that up too. Um, they love that in the summer, uh, frozen. Look what you guys just did to my rug. They... <laughs> They heard me grab the green beans and they came a running and messed up my rugs. Okay, so <laughs> um, they are all right here um, under my feet. So let me put this up and then I was going to show you what I got them for their birthday. Watch out! Watch out! Put this in my fridge and my freezer. That's for your birthday. Okay, so um, if you watch my videos, you know that uh, Milo and Miggy love to play fetch. So I bought one of these um, Chuck It uh, fetch sticks because um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, if you've been watching a while, the stick a subscriber scent. Milo loves playing with that stick. So I got him another stick for outside for playing fetch or inside. And then I got Miggy um, one of the Chuck It footballs for out there to play fetch with. So that's for their birthday. And then I also, when I was out, stopped at my PO box and I got a letter from Linda. Thank you, Linda. She watched one of my old videos when um, we lived in our last house and I was asking for easy recipes because I'm not the greatest cook <laughs> and I like easy recipes. So she sent me a couple of nice easy recipes. So thank you, Linda. I um, sent you something out in the mail um, a couple days ago, so hopefully you get it soon. So thank you so much, Linda, for those recipes. And then um, Jackie had sent me 
a email saying that she had something coming in the mail for me that would be here Saturday, today. Um, and she said, consider it an early Christmas gift. So we're going to open this up. Let's see. Let me just rip the paper. There's a little note in here. Let's see here. The boys are like, is something for us, Mom? Let me read this real quick. I'll cut the video and then start back up in a second here. Okay, so she had sent me a necklace not too long ago, and this is the keychain. The keychain that the um, the picture that's on the necklace of the boys can interchange into this keychain. Oh, there's pictures in the keychain. I was going to have to take the one out of the necklace to put in the keychain. I don't know if, I, if this will show up on camera, but there's a picture in there of the boys. This, this turns because you can pop that out. Isn't that so cool? Thank you, Jackie. I love it. Love it so much. And then there's a extra little thing here you could put a picture in too. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, so I've got their birthday gifts down. I've got their presents already bought. So I'm on top of it. I'm trying to be on top of it because if you remember, July 7th, I may have to do jury duty. I don't want to do jury duty. <laughs> but you know what I was thinking? I'm glad that uh, Mr. Grant's... Let me get my phone. Hold on one second. See, they're, uh, they're over here under my feet, wondering what I had on the counter and what I was talking about. You know I had some green beans over here and some blueberries, and you want one? <laughs> okay, I got to go over here and see what Milo's got. He's got a kitty toy, and I think he's eating feathers. Milo, you're not supposed to play with that kitty toy. My daughter bought the cat this kitty toy. Oh, oh. Kitty toy. It is the biggest kitty toy I've ever seen. And look at they've eaten the feathers off the end. Yes, well, they haven't eaten them. They've torn them off. You like this kitty toy? You think you're a kitty? You think you need it? I'm like, that's a doggy toy, Mom. Let me cut those feathers off. <laughs> let me cut the feathers off. Alright, guys. Well, let me let me cut these feathers off and give this back to Milo. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you can play with the kitty toy now. Look, <laughs> the kitty says, that's my toy. Kitty went running over there. He says, that's my toy. Why is my little got it? So, um, I'm happy that Grant's eye is better because if I have to serve on a jury, I was thinking, how with my husband working and how with my daughter working, Am I going to get eye drops in his eye in the middle of the day? So I'm so happy that he only has to have the one eye drop now uh, twice a day. So in the morning and then at night. Um, nobody needs any kind of medication during the day. So if I do have to serve uh, for jury duty, um, all medications can be given to him before I leave. And then later on at night, about 9 o'clock is when I give him his eye drop. And I have to give Mozzie his blood pressure medication. So... At least that's better. All I have to worry about is my husband needing to make time to come home in the middle of the day, let them out, and um, feed them their lunch. So, uh, so thank goodness his eye is better. I'm so happy. And like I said in my last video, look at the cat. <laughs> He's like, 
Why you got my kitty toy? Why you got my kitty toy, Milo? That kitty don't even play with it. <laughs> I think it's funny that he's laying there watching Milo with it because he really don't even play with it. Unless he plays with it when I'm sleeping. That's all I can think of. Magna, you better leave that kitty alone. You better leave that kitty alone. The boys have been very bored. Um, yesterday it rained almost all day. I mean, it did nothing but rain yesterday. And whenever it would slow up, I'd have to get them outside and go outside with them to get them to go down, down the deck and get out there and go do their business. So, yeah, it was a tough day getting everybody outside yesterday. And it's supposed to, it's about, what time is it? It's little afternoon. Um, and it's supposed to start raining again uh, this afternoon. Supposedly, maybe some severe thunderstorms even. So, um, yeah, so... The boys have been really bored not being able to be outside. You're getting sniffed on both sides, Grant. <laughs> you're an Oreo. You're you're a cookie. You're a sandwich. Everybody's sniffing you. <laughs> um, yeah, they've been really bored having to be in the house uh, quite a bit. It's very humid out. I don't know if you can see on my window uh, the moisture on the windows out there. It's very humid outside right now. Not too hot, which thankfully it's not too hot, but um, yeah, miserable weather this weekend. Miserable weather. I mean, I'm thankful for the rain because I know some people need the rain, um, but it's tough when you got seven dogs that you got to get outside to do their business when it's, I mean, just pouring. I think we had about three inches of rain yesterday um, and down south of us even more. Um, and then we're getting more rain today. So, yeah, it can go away anytime now, for a, at least for a little while. Right, boys? So we can go outside and play. <laughs> Who's that kitty? <laughs> Milo, you're done playing already? Just going to sleep on it? <laughs> All right, guys, just a quick video today. It probably isn't really quick. I'll probably edit it. It'll be 10 minutes long, but... I hope everybody's having a great weekend, and we will see you guys again in our next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sunday now. I thought I'd add this clip um, to the end of the video I did yesterday. Um, I was posting on my Facebook Schnauzer Mom page about our severe weather that was going through. Um, tornado warning heaviest rain ever <laughs> oh my goodness it was terrible and my husband and a friend were out in the shed smoking a cigar tornado sirens start going off I'm trying to gather the dogs together and they knew I was kind of freaking out so they weren't cooperating <laughs> and <laughs> I called my husband I'm like aren't you gonna come inside he's like no we're fine <laughs> so I'm in the house freaking out um, like I said, I could not get the boys to cooperate, so my was chasing Magnum around because he has a bully stick. <laughs> He's just going to follow him around and bark. <laughs> um... Could not get the boys to cooperate. I was trying to get them in the bathroom with me because we don't have a basement. We do have a crawl space, but there was no way I was going to get the dogs down in the crawl space. And there was no way I was going to leave them um, alone. So, um, ended up just putting them in their crates because they were just freaking out. Put them in their crates. I was keeping an eye on things going on outside. Um, this went on for about an hour. Sirens and... I think the tornado warning lasted about an hour. Um, yeah, so I need to come up with a better plan for severe weather. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know it was headed our way. I knew we were supposed to get storms and possible bad weather, but until I got an alert on my phone, started hearing the sirens. So I've got to be... <laughs> And Magnum is enjoying cheesing him. Yes, he is.
I don't know if that chipmunk's behind that uh, tote thing. There must be something over there because they're just sniffing away. Oh my goodness, at least it's behind that. I know they can't get it if it stays back there. So, anyways, long story short, everything was fine. I think a tornado did touch down in Lennon, Michigan, which is just a short ways away from us. Um, and people, they saw some rotation in the sky, but I think Lennon or Perry, somewhere in there, it, a, a tornado, tornado did touch down. I don't think there, I think it was a field or something. There was no, um, I don't think there was any damage. I haven't seen anything on Facebook or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we all survived. We all sur Oh, yep. I just heard it. I just heard it squeak. It's over there. We're going to have to go in. I swear, that little chipmunk. I don't know why. Because there's no nest or nothing behind there. Because remember, I looked back there. Come on, boys. Come on. <laughs> my daily life of saving the chipmunk. Oh my goodness, I swear. <laughs> yeah, but I was gonna show you over here, my little, my rain catcher. This has been catching rain. I've let it catch rain since Friday. Today's Sunday, Sunday morning. So we've gotten, we must've got more rain last night. Um, It's at, I don't know if you can see it, but it's at four and a half inches of rain we've gotten. And I know down, I'm going to let it go today too, because we're supposed to get some more. Um, down south in Michigan, like around Dearborn and stuff, yesterday morning, they had already had six inches. So yeah, it was pretty bad down there. Lots of flooding uh, down south in Michigan, south of us. Lots of flooding. I posted some pictures in the comments on one of my posts uh, yesterday on Facebook. And lots of people's basements flooding. I feel so bad for them because that's a terrible situation. I'm glad we don't have a ba uh, We have a crawl space. And there's no problems down there. My husband looked. But um thankful we don't have to deal with that. Especially people with finished basements. And then they had flooding in them. Oh my goodness terrible so yep yeah, but we're all safe the boys are good they did not like it's funny because when the sirens go off when they do their test every month every saturday every first saturday of the month they test the t tornado sirens and um they could care less when they're outside but inside it was probably for me they were they were feeling the energy off of me of the nervousness i'm sure but they were just kind of all over the place magnum was crying uh yeah <laughs> It was crazy. And my husband stayed outside the whole time, that whole hour of the tornado warning. My son was at his apartment outside texting me video and pictures. I'm like, because it's, tornadoes are rare here um, and they rarely ever happen. I, I saw a bunch of memes uh, my friends were sharing of Midwesterners standing outside staring at the sky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and I, sh I shouldn't laugh about it because it's serious, I know, in other areas. But when it happens here, crazies like my husband stand outside watching for everything. I'm sure they do where it happens a lot, too. But um, it's a very rare occurrence to have a tornado warning here um, in Michigan. So, anyways, yeah, that's what happened. That was That's what happened yesterday evening here. Better stay back there, little chipmunk. Better not try to run and take or uh, make a run for it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.